Hello everyone, welcome to my another video. Today we discuss about important MCQ on high risk pregnancies. For more important MCQ on nursing subjects, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Question number 21 Which of the following drug is contraindicated in a mother in labor with hypertension? Option A oxytocin. B. Prostaglandin C. Magnesium Sulfate D. Metharzine Right answer is Option D. Metharzine Metharzine is used for the prevention and control of postpartum hemorrhage. Metharzine is contraindicated in high blood pressure and in pregnancy. So it is contraindicated in a mother in labor with hypertension. Question Antidote of magnesium sulfate is Option A. Calcium gluconate B. Potassium chloride C. Sodium nitroprusside D. Verapamil Right answer is Option A. Calcium gluconate Calcium gluconate is the antidote of magnesium sulfate. Client on magnesium sulfate therapy should be monitored for deep tendon reflexes. It should be assessed hourly. Cardiac and renal function is monitored closely. The urine output should be maintained at 30 ml per hour because the medication is eliminated through the kidneys. Next question. Postpartum hemorrhage is defined as blood loss more than Option A 1000 ml B. 500 ml C. 1500 ml D. 2000 ml Right answer is Option B. 500 ml Loss of blood more than 500 ml within first 24 hours after delivery is called postpartum hemorrhage. It is a serious condition that can lead to death Early detection and prompt treatment can lead to full recovery. Next question. The single umbilical artery is most common in Option A. Oligohydramnios B. Placenta Previa C. Twins D. All of the above Right answer is option C twins. Monochorionic monozygotic twins is the condition in which there will be single umbilical artery. A single umbilical artery is a malformation of umbilical cord where only one artery instead of two is present. It may be associated with other birth defects. Next question. Following delivery, nurse suspects atonic PPH in the client. Which among the following is the priority nursing intervention? Option A. Massage the uterus. B. Administer 10 units of oxytocin. C. Administer argometrin. D. Report to the doctor. Right answer is option A massage the uterus. Although administration of oxytocin helps to arrest postpartum hemorrhage through uterine contraction, but the most priority nursing intervention is to massage the uterus. Next question. Death of mother in abrasive placenta occurs due to Option A. Infection B. Toxemia C. Hemorrhage D. Thromboflavitis Right answer is Option C. Hemorrhage Placental abruption can cause life-threatening problems for both mother and the baby, death of mother in abruptio placenta occurs due to hemorrhage. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हुई ऑफ दि फलोईंग इज दि ट्रिटमेंट अफ हाई डायटेडी फ्रम मूल इन ए फोर्टी इयर्स ओल्ड ओमेन अपशन ए हिस्ट्रेटमी बी हिस्ट्रेक्टमी सी सक्शन इभाकुएन डि डायलेटेशन एंड क्यूरेटेज राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी हिस्ट्रेक्टमी हिस्ट्रेक्टमी इज दि ट्रिटमेंट अफ हाई आइडेंटिटी फ्रम मूल इन ए फोर्टी इयर्स ओल्ड ओमेन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन All of the following drugs can be used in management of postpartum hemorrhage except option A mifepristone B misoprostol C cintocinone D cintometrin Right answer is option A mifepristone Misoprostol, Sintocinone and Sintometrin are used for the management of postpartum hemorrhage. Mifepristol in combination with Misoprostol is used for medical termination of pregnancy in first trimester of pregnancy. However, Mifepristol is not used for the management of postpartum hemorrhage. Next question. The most common characteristic manifestation of uterine rupture during labor is option A hypertension B fetal bradycardia C contractions that become stronger and intense D all of the above Right answer is option B fetal bradycardia Fetal bradycardia is the most common characteristic manifestation of uterine rupture during labor. Uterine rupture is a rare but serious childbirth complication that can occur during vaginal delivery. This condition affects less than 1% of pregnant women. It almost always occurs in women with uterine scars from previous cesarean deliveries. or other uterine surgeries next question combined duration of first stage and second stage of labor is more than the arbitrary time limit of 18 hours is known as option a obstructed labor b precipitated labor c prolonged labor deep premature labor right answer is option c prolonged labor labor is said to be prolonged when total duration of first and second stage is more than 18 hours we should do early detection of any malpresentation malposition or congenital abnormality use of partograph and judicious use of augmentation for prevention of prolonged labor so this is the today's video thank you so much for watching my video